I'm sitting inside a cricket. It's the uh, the first child of the taxa family, the taxa insect family. I was always inspired more by boats and bicycles than I was by apartments or houses or anything like that. Um, so I borrowed a V-berth from the boat. You'll see that shape in a little bit in our sitting area and our sleeping area. Um, but it's small and compact, and yet there's room to move around because we're really interested and concerned about the choreography of motion. You can see our laser cut skeleton. It has various attach points pre-cut into it. Um, it's really strong. When the roof is up, I can hang here and do tricks. Um, and we'll show you the kids berth where kids hang suspended from the ceiling, sort of like bats, but not really like bats at all. There are light switches conveniently located by the table um, for ambient and task lighting. There are 12 volts accessory plugs right by the table for computer laptops or charging phones. There's straight up USB and a 12 volt outlet as well as a meter. If you get the optional fridge, it sits right here as a bedside table, stool and fridge and it has its own 12 volt outlet. Um, I just mentioned kids sleeping from the ceiling. At NASA we learned to make use of every surface. So uh, you can hang kids from the surface, from the surface, from the ceiling. This is a kid's berth, um, up to 130 pounds. I've been up there at much heavier than that. Uh, and about five foot four in length. If you don't go for the kid's berth, there's lots of attached points up here for cargo nets or bungees holding whatever you want. Um, a lot of people who don't have kids still get one of these as a gear addict because you can throw all your bedding up here and squish it back up to the ceiling and have an instantly clean place to hang out.